In the previous tutorial, I explained to you guys how left shifting works in programming and I gave you some examples here. So today we're going to try this out in code. This is Visual Studio. I have some comments for the task that we're going to perform. The first one here is we're going to get a number 74 and I'm going to shift it by one position to the left to get 148. Then I'm going to get a number 25, shift it by three positions to get 200, and then I'm going to print the results. So these operations are going to be the same as what I showcased in the previous video. What you see here is a variable x, which is an integer, and this here, x answer, is going to store the results for the left shift operation. Now, you might be familiar with this operator here, and you might think that this is the common insertion operator, but actually, this is the bitwise left shift operator. So don't be confused. It depends on the context in which you are using this operator. Here, this is the left shift operator. Here, I hard coded the value 74, but I could also use a variable just like this x. And because x stores the value of 74, this is still going to work. It doesn't matter if it's directly or through a variable. Now let's move on to the next operation. So I have 25 stored in y, 3 stored in i. So here we are performing a left shift operation on y and I'm shifting that number by three positions to the left. So now let's try and print the results here. I'm going to go here, select the debug option, and click on start without debugging. Here I have the number 148 and 200. In the first video, we performed the same operations, but we did so manually and we got the results 148 and 200. So this is correct. But let's say that we wanted to perform these operations directly in the output statements. Now we're gonna have a few issues because this here is the insertion operator that we use for outputs. And at the same time, we also want to use this left shift operator, this bitwise operator to perform some left shifts operations. Now, what you see here, X and one is the same thing as what I have here, meaning that I want to display 148 in that first line, but instead I'm going to get 741. We go here again, start without debugging, and now I get 741. What happened here is that a number X here was printed, which is 74, and then we had a direct concatenation with the number one. This here is currently being used as the insertion operator. So if we want this to be executed as a bitwise operation, we can wrap this in between parentheses. So let's try and print that again. And now we have 148. So the same thing would apply to this variable here. If I have y and i, which is the same thing as this operation here, I'm going to get 253. So this is what you can see here, what I'm highlighting. And to fix this, I simply have to wrap this operation in between parentheses. So I could have this or even this, and it's the same thing. So let's run this one last time, start without debugging, and we have 200, which is correct. So that was a quick demonstration of how to perform left shift operations in C++ and this is quite important for bit manipulation. So if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications and I'll catch you next time.